Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial, we will learn about the python scipy loadmat file. Let's see what we are going to learn in this video. First we will know about the python scipy loadmat file. After this python scipy loadmat file to data frame. Then we will understand py python scipy loadmat file sdf5 and we will also learn about python scipy save and loadmat file. At the end, we will know python scipy whose mat file. Now move to the first topic, python scipy load mat file. So what is a mat file? A files with the dot mat extension are representation of the binary data container format that the MATLAB application uses. Due to the fact that they contain variables, arrays, function and other types of data. Mat files are categorized as a data files and were given the extension by MathWorks. The MATLAB file can be loaded using the loadmat method found in the scipy.io module of python scipy. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy.io.loadmat where parameters are file name. It is the file name or open file like objects may also be passed mdict. It is a dictionary to input mat file variables. Appendment. If the .mat extension is not already present, add it to the end of the specified file name. By default, it is a true. Let's see with example how to load the mat file. Now go to the website matlab.mathworks.com and write these two lines of code. What actually happening here? First line of code is going to generate a random numbers from 1 to 10 and going to store this number in the variable p. Then we are passing this variable p to a method save with the file name pqfile.mat. This method is going to save the p variable within the file pqfile.mat and execute this code by hitting enter on your keyboard and after hitting enter on your keyboard it's going to create a new file pqfile.mat here as you can see what you are going to do is select the file and click on download to download the file on your computer after downloading the file we are going to load this file using the method loadmat of python scipy import the required method our libraries so here we are importing loadmat method from the library scipy.io execute the code then pass the path of the file where it is downloaded on your computer to a method loadmat to load that file execute the code from the output we can see that the this method loadmat shows all the information about the file like a header and the version of the file and it also shows the variable name and its values like here we can see this is the array values that is generated by the rend method this is how to load the mat file using the method load mat of python scipy the next topic is python scipy load mat file to a data frame we will load the mat file in this topic and use the pandas data frame method to turn it into a data frame for instance we will use the same mat file pqfile.mat that we have created in the earlier topic let's understand with example how to load mat file and convert it into data frame import the required method or libraries so here we are importing load mat from the library scipy.io then importing pandas as pd execute the code now load the mat file using the method load mat by passing the path of that file the load mat method returns the dictionary containing information with the variables name and their values as a key pair values to access the values of the variable in the dictionary here we will use the method get dictionary that accepts a key which is a variable name that returns the value associated with the given key assuming that the key present in the dictionary and pass the return value to a method data frame of pandas to convert the values to a data frame execute the code now view the converted mat file to a data frame execute the code from the output we can see we have successfully converted the mat file variables to a data frame the next topic is python scipy load mat file sdf5 the method load mat cannot load the sdf5 or h5 type of file we will use the package h5py to load the mat file the h5py package is the pythonic interface for the sdf5 binary data format it enables us to quickly and simply manipulate vast numerical data using numpies for instance multi terabyte data sets that are kept on the disk can be divided up as if they were actual numpy arrays a single file can hold thousands of data sets, each categorized and labeled as desired. Let's load the file with the extension sdf5. Now again open the website MATLAB and execute these four lines of code. So here we are going to create a file myrndarray.h5. So to create a file in MATLAB, we use the method h5 create and we have passed this file name to a method with a data set name ds1 and the size of the file 5 into 10. Then we are creating new variable my rnd data using the method rand which will generate a random numbers from 5 to 10 and going to store that number in this variable my rnd data then 
pass this variable to a method h5 write to write this variable to the above file that here we have created so the file is my rnd array dot h5 so in this file we are writing the variables my rnd data now use the method h5 disp to display the information about the file that we have created so execute the code so as we can see here the file name is my rnd array dot h5 and data set name is a ds1 and the size of file is a 5 into 10 as we can also see here in the current folder section the file is created now download this file on your computer by clicking on download button here and load this file using package h5py if the package h5py doesn't exist on your computer then execute the code pip install h5py and hit enter from your keyboard as from the output we can see it says this requirement already satisfied it means i have already install this package on my computer now import the package using code import h5py execute the code then h5py has a method named file that we can use to read write and create a file so this method accept two parameter the first one is a file name and the second one is a mod of file so first we have passed the path of the file wherever it exists on our computer then we have passed the mod of the file mod means what we are going to do with this file whether we are going to read this file write this file and we are going to create this file so for reading file we use r mod for writing we can use r plus for reading and writing and creating we use a execute the code to know about this file we are going to use the method get of dictionary so here we are using method get and pass the name of the data set as we have set the name of the data set as a ds1 now execute the code now from the output we can see that the this is the hdf5 data set ds1 with shape 10 into 5 and type f8 this is how to load the hdf5 file using the method file of package h5py the next topic is python scipy save and load mat file since we have already learned how to load a mat file this topic will teach us how to save and load a mat file the method save mat of the module scipy.io will be used to save the file with the .mat extension. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy.io.savemat where parameters are file name. This is the file name without the .mat extension if append mat equal to true or open file like object may also be passed. mdict it is a dictionary to input mat file variables. append mat if the .mat extension is not already present add it to the end of the specified file name but this argument is uh, true by default format if we specify format equal to 5 this means the format is going to based on matlab version 5 and higher up to 7.2 and if we specify 4 then the format is going to be based on matlab version 4 let's know with the help of example how to save a mat file now import the required libraries or method so here we are importing module io from the library scipy then importing numpy as np execute the code now create an array and pass this array to a dictionary to create a dictionary of this array execute the code from the output we can see that the dictionary contains array with label equal to example now pass the web dictionary to a method io.savemat to save the file in matlab style with file name matlab array.mat execute the code from this code we have successfully saved the mat file in the current directory of the colab here you can see that this is how to save the mat file using the method same mat of python scipy the last topic of this tutorial is python scipy whose mat file the whose math method of the scipy.oyo module is used to inspect the variables within a mat file the syntax of the method is as follows scipy.oyo.whose mat where parameters are file name this is the file name append mat if the dot mat extension is not already present add it to the end of the specified file but it is true by default let's see with an example how to inspect the mat file import the required method or libraries so here we are importing module io from the library scipy execute the code now use the method whose mat to check the variable within the mat file pq file dot mat that we have created in the first topic of this tutorial execute the code from the output we can see that the pq file.mat contains a variable p of type double. This is how to inspect the variable within the mat files using the method whose mat of python scipy. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about python scipy load mat file and learn about how to load the mat file with dot mat and hdf5 extension. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thank you.